Hey, good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, September 15th. Thanks so much for being here. We continue to think on the thought for today. Everyday thought is about the heart. And we're looking at Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 27. And this passage itself tells us in clear terms how important this section is. The key one of these verses 20 and 27 is verse 23, where it says above every watch. And what every watch means every watch of the night, if you assign a guard to watch over something, to look over something, to check it out, they would have watch over that. Well, above everything that you hold dear, above everything that you are want to take care of in your life, above that, guard your heart. <sighs> that heart is that special person that makes you, you, makes you different from me, makes you different from everyone else. Your children's hearts, they're different from everyone else. Guard that. Help them guard that. Teach them to guard that. The heart is the internal person. All of our stuff inside of us is what makes us unique and special. Guard that, for everything you do flows from it. Everything you do. That's not just a cute metaphor, literally. What your heart desires, that's where your body, your life, your energy goes. Jesus warns in the Gospels about you can't fake people by saying one thing and being something else. Whatever is coming out of the heart is what comes from the mouth. So we've got to be wise and careful. Verse 21 is very much connected to verse 23. It says, speaking of the commands of God, do not allow them to depart from before your eyes. Keep them within your heart. So the keeping within the heart is very much tied to guarding the heart. What you hold dear is what protects your heart or damages your heart. If we hold the wrong things dear or listen to the wrong things, we will be damaged. But if I hold precious things, if I hold the commands of God close to me, that will protect me. So that's what 21 and 23 are telling us. I keep these commands of God that I hear from my parents I keep them in front of me in a very intimate way. And that's how I guard my heart. I keep God's truth right there in front of me all the time. That is a precious truth for us to hang on to. So the things that I am involved with, the things that I look at, the things that I honor, the things that I value, that determines the condition of my heart. Again, Christ tells us this in the Gospels where he says you can't serve God and stuff. The mammon uh, loses a little bit because we don't use the term, but it's more than just money. It's whatever the stuff of earth that I value. I can't serve that and God because you can't have two masters. If we have two masters, we are filled with doubt and deceit. And the second master may be coming in the form of, of a, a big charade, someone who's a fraud, who doesn't look like a master, but it may be a fear. I can't serve God in fear. I can only serve God. I can only be committed to God. I can't be committed to fear. I can't be committed to my desires and my lusts. I can't be, desire, can't committed, be committed to whatever I think will bring me personal satisfaction and safety. As Psalm 62 only tells us, only in God is found safety. So that's this, if we can get this one concept, that what protects our heart is the word of God and our love for God. Everything else will tear our heart apart, tear us inside, where we become an emotional basket case. That's what this passage is telling us. Protect my heart by the truth and commands of God. If I don't, then things around me will fall apart. Things inside of me will fall apart. And I will be dominated by fear, doubt, worry, or whatever.
whatever lustful desire I have, rather than bringing honor and glory to God. We're going to keep on looking at that this week, maybe even beyond, but this morning, we just want to get that centerpiece passage firmly cemented in our minds so that we're grasping it above everything. Guard your heart, and you guard it with the truth of God. Because everything you do flows from where your heart is. So we want to give our hearts to God. And that's the thought for today. And we'll see you tonight. Lord bless. Bye-bye.